Hey guys, it's Lucy. So today I'm going to be showing you my Coraline collection. I've been working on this collection for a while. It's been about, well I don't know, I've loved Coraline since I was like nine years old. So I've been collecting stuff from it for a very long time. So I'm going to show you guys what I have. And to start this off, I'm not trying to brag about anything. I just wanted to make a video like this for a while. So yeah. Okay, so to start off with, I have the Coraline Bendy dolls. These I actually got like, oh, when was it? It was like five, four years ago. And interesting story about these, I actually, I actually owned these when I was nine years old, but then I got creeped out because, because their faces come off and this is terrifying. So this gave me a heart attack as a nine year old, because I mean, what nine year old wouldn't scream bloody murder when they saw this? I got rid of them and I bought um, these ones for $10 each when I was nine, off of eBay. And then I got rid of them because of the faces. And now, like, you know, about five or four years ago, or a little bit before that, I wanted these again because they're so cool. But they were like $500. Like, okay, this one was around close to 500, 300. This one is really expensive now. So I couldn't get them and I was so mad at myself. I'm like, why didn't I just keep them? What is wrong with me? So I had been looking for these on eBay for a good price for years. And then I finally found them for, I think it may have been like 200, maybe a little less. I don't remember, but it came with these and also these little tiny figurines from the movies and they were broken and I don't remember where they are now the thing with these though why is her foot missing this wasn't missing to begin with okay the reason these are so cheap is because well no her foot wasn't missing anyway her foot is missing and she's missing a hand and that's how i bought them but for some reason now her actual other foot is missing oops and then this one is missing her rain boots so that's why these were so cheap but i'm really happy that i found them because i love them and then i also got for my birthday last year i think it was my mom found one of these again only it's actually it was in the box so it came with everything that it would have if you bought it back in 2009 or 10. yeah so this one i love i, I love how like she has her stand and everything and this was actually my favorite favorite out of all of them when I was younger. And then a little bit after my birthday, I got the star sweater one, which was actually a um, Comic-Con exclusive. And I love her so much. Her, her shoes are so cute. And I love the sweater. The material on these are amazing. So then in about, I think it was 2013, I got the Coraline replica doll that this is exclusive to I'm pretty sure and she is so cute her ear is broken because my friend dropped her <laughs> but um but she's really really cute she's not like oh and her um her uh dragonfly is isn't on anymore these dolls this doll specifically is very fragile and I wasn't super careful with it when I was little but now I'm much more careful with it but yeah so she has her raincoat and this has like wire in it which is really cool and her shoes are really cute and she's very like posable which is really cool i keep her like sitting up like this on my shelf um they did a really good job with this one this is a really good quality i got this one it was only about 30 dollars, and i think they brought it back now so after that before we moved i got um Coraline the book and this one has a lot of cool pictures in it let me see if i can find my favorite one of all time in this whole book because it's creepy and the beldum gets her comeuppance and I love it. This is a very good book. I actually don't like the book as much as I like the movie, but it's still a really good book. This is the 10th anniversary edition. The next thing that I got, this isn't actually going in order, but this past Christmas I got um, all the all four of the Leica movies, so I actually got Coraline. So another thing that my mom found me last year on, I think it was Etsy, are Coraline candles, and these are obviously hand, or not maybe not handmade but these weren't like official to Leica. They have this like really cool picture on it and I really like this one because it has like the cat and it has YB on it and it's really cute. I'm afraid to light these. I want to just keep them perfect forever so I don't light them. Okay so now we're going to get into the Pop Funkos that I have from Coraline and just so you know I have Bobinski but his leg broke because he fell and so I now I can't even find him because I have this huge box of Pop Funkos but now 
it seems like they're kind of gone because I was moving stuff around in my room and packing, so now they're it's missing. But I do have Bobinski. I can't find him right now. But actually, the first Coraline one that I got when it like first came out, Coraline with the star sweater, and it's such a cute pop Funko. She came with a cap too, but it's in the box with Bobinski and the mice. But this is the first Coraline pop Funko that I got. We got it at the mall at Hot Topic. It's really cheap still, so if you want to get it, you can. The second pop Funko I got from Coraline that my aunt got me is her with her raincoat on and it's so cute i love this one i think it's probably my favorite it's just so adorable i love it so much also you know what i just remembered totally forgot about this i also have um i also have the oh my gosh you can't see it the Coraline exclusive from new york comic con and she has her little pajamas on and she's holding a piece of cotton candy and I did take her out of the box at some point but I put her back in because I think we're going to be moving soon and I really didn't want her to get like messed up and then this past Christmas I got the other mother a pop funko of her and this is like a really good pop funko like a lot of the time they're breaking or they're not quite right with the paint or they're just not there's something always a little off with them but i really don't see much that's like off with this pop funko it's just a really good pop funko it's really creepy looking but it's really cool and i love her shoes they did a lot of um, detail on her dress and everything and they just did a really good job with this so yeah that is my Coraline collection thus far um I hope you guys enjoyed I have wanted to make this for a while and I'm really happy that I actually have more stuff now to show you guys uh yeah so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later I'm totally not doing this for a thumbnail I swear I may be lying bye I can't take them on my own my own I'm not the one you know, you know